Creating pivot tables in Google Sheets or Excel allows you to easily add up large data sets so you can see patterns and, and stir and aggregate categories. So here we are in Google Sheets. And I'm going to highlight my entire sheet by clicking on this rectangle up at the intersection of the rows and columns. I'm going to go ahead and go to Data and Pivot Table. And it's always a good idea to do it in a new sheet. It just kind of helps keep things separate. You can always add things together later if you need to. And this will bring up a new tab down at the bottom here so I can navigate back to my original data if I need to. And in my pivot table, I can start adding values. It gives you some suggestions. We're going to go ahead and try to figure out um, how many respondents to the survey uh, indicated that they were male and how many indicated that they were female. And so we're going to go ahead and make rows for those two different options. I'm going to select that question. And then in this case, we also want the values to match. The values we're interested in are how many people um, indicated each response. So I'm going to go to values and choose the same question. And it defaults to the answer I need, which is count A. That means it's counting the number of responses, basically the number of rows in our original spreadsheet that correspond to those answers. There's lots of other options you can um, that you can choose here as well. Uh, many of these aren't going to work with categorical data because they require numbers, um, but count, is a, count A is a classic one that you can use for adding things up.